Hello, my name is Taga Diallo, and my project relates to the development of co-evolutionary traits in poisonous frogs. The question I was trying to answer for this project was, does level of visual conspicuousness representing warning displays for potential predators in poisonous frogs correlate with level of toxicity? Based on my research and data gathered, my findings are yes, there is a positive correlation between level of toxicity and visual conspicuousness or coloration in different species of poisonous frogs. This is a figure that I have created to represent my data. I have made a scatter plot with each data point representing a different species of frogs. 11 for my first article and 21 for my second article for a total of 32 different species. On the x-axis is visual conspicuousness, which is a measurement of bright coloration or reflectance of each of the frogs. And on the y-axis is toxicity. And then based on these data points, I generated a trend line and equation that is shown at the top. And this equation does show that there is a positive correlation based on the positive slope in the equation. And this shows that toxicity is positively correlated with visual conspicuousness. For the relevance or reason why this research is important, this research provides insight into the following ideas. Coevolution of traits. We normally look at traits that have evolved due to an independent fitness benefit that is received by the animal without needing another trait for the newly adapted trait to be beneficial. However, in this case, it is unlikely that these visually conspicuous traits would be adapted without toxicity. And this leads me to my second point, um, the adaptation and development of unusual traits. Normally, animals will gain fitness benefits through visual traits that help them blend in or be less conspicuous. But this is a case where these frog species have developed physical traits that make them more visible to potential predators in an effort to warn them and deter any attacks. This research also provides insight into potential mimicry tactics that could be used. Um, from this research, we could see if there are any species that have used mimicry, mimicry tactics of copying the bright coloration of toxic frogs without actually being toxic. And this is the data set for my second article. It contains the data for 21 different frog species. And the calculations I did for this article were pretty much the same. It was just putting the total toxicity and coloration based on an observer on a scale of 0 to 1 by taking the maximum value for each trait and making that a 1, and then dividing all of the other data points by the max. And here again is the final data. It shows all of the data points after I performed calculations on them to put them on a scale of 0 to 1 so that you could see the correlation between toxicity and visual conspicuousness.